Welcome to William Anglis Institute. My name is Aaron Tripad. I'm the professional cookery instructor here. And today's class, I'll teach my students about poultry. The first thing of boning a chicken, right? We got to allocate the wishbone. By allocating the wishbone, it's just above the neck to the breast, yeah? And why do you remove the wishbone? Uh, the wishbone will be removed, so it, is, it will make it easier later on to remove the breast. Take a boning knife, cutting 360 degrees around the wing. Remove the wing. So now we have a incision made, and then we just twist the wing, and the chicken comes out like this, clean. You got to hold it this way to snap it off. If you go this angle, it won't snap off nicely. Ah. Sharp knife, yeah? We cut between the breast and the leg, yeah? Okay. We go along the leg, down to the backbone. So now we are dislocating his hip. A good part what I teach my students always behind, between the backbone, there's called a little piece, it's called the oyster, yeah? This is the most sweetest part of the meat, and it looks like an oyster. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah? With the tip of the knife, close to the middle, cutting through the skin, that's called the breastbone. Although and, I would miss it yeah? if I tried And then to you can see there. the tenderloin <laughs> is attached to the breastbone, and then the breast starts. We got to make sure the tenderloin sticks to the breast. Yeah. So with the tip of the knife, I go along the carcass. Yeah. Slowly sliding down until I come down to the shoulder. Yeah. And we cut between the shoulder blade and moving our breast off. Knife to the right side side. I just cut it open, but I will not go along the carcass now. I just cut full. Tip of the knife, soft skin. Just go through the bone. Yeah, and you open up the chicken. Yeah, and here comes my other half of the chicken. The easiest one to identify the joint between uh, the thigh and the drum is cutting through this white line here where you can see it. Yeah. Is that a tendon or something? No, it's the knee joint. And I decide today, I always will French it too, right? The French, I cut through the tendon, 360 degrees around. Then with my knife, just go around there. Yeah. And I can just snap it off like this, and it looks exactly like the wing bone. Yeah? In between the joint here, so two pieces, so exactly right four the wise, yeah? The this is a bigger piece, this is a smaller piece, so each uh, person will get an even piece. Cut through the ribs, <coughs> yeah? So each, everywhere, a little bit ribs attached. The ribs will add flavor, and it has the structure of the breast. And we'll keep these four pieces of chicken for our lay down for our chasse. And now back to our chicken here. We've got to remove the skin, yeah? Around the wing, taking all the skin off. Now the hardest part, remember like I said before, is keeping the tenderloin to the breast. So now I remove the tenderloin from the breast. So we're making a chicken Kiev here. What's the yeah. magic that you do that puts everything inside the chicken, so that yeah. all of that garlicky butter. So the garlicky butter I made previously, I will show you later on. So the garlicky butter will be in the center of the chicken breast. We come have our chicken breast. Yeah. And we got our chasseur. Yeah. Now you see now how to pull the chicken. You go back to your sections and we'll do it over there and I'll come around if you need any help. So we cut to the yeah. incision with the tip of the knife. Then you can feel like this. A good piece of finger, there's not much butter coming out. See, not like a mild one. 